Stellenbosch University, one of South Africa's foremost research institutions, is but a university with an unwanted history as the so-called cradle of apartheid. In 2007, Professor Russell Botman was appointed as its first black vice-chancellor. His challenge to transform the culture of the university to ensure the relevance of its research in the development of modern post-apartheid South Africa. The strategy chosen is one that he suggests could be adopted by other universities across the African continent. The, the most difficult thing was to, to find a new idea for the university because apartheid was its idea. And all it did and all the work that was done was based around how do you strengthen this thing, build for a small minority a very big wealth base in, a, in, in this country. And how do you secure that it continues for almost forever? What we did was to say, what would be a new idea? What would be a new pedagogy for the university? I took the the notion of a a pedagogy of hope, which goes back to Paulo Freire's thinking in South America. The notion of hope is about the next generation. It's asking the question of the next generation and trying to find a way to, to begin to build the foundation for that generation. The Brazilian philosopher and educator Paulo Freire stressed the importance of research which connects with the reality in which people live, believing in the transformative effect of the act of engaging and collaborating on both the researchers and the communities involved. Stellenbosch researchers were encouraged to interact with the world outside the confines of the university. On the outskirts of Stellenbosch, just a few minutes' drive from the university, but a world away from the whitewashed buildings of the campus, is the township of Enkanani. This is the location of one of the flagship HOPE projects, the iShack project, a multidisciplinary research project to redesign the shack, home to hundreds of thousands of poor South Africans. How do we tackle poverty? If we can't afford, for instance now, new housing, if we have poor people who struggle to, to find a new place to live in, How do you help them to just have an improved living space, standard and comfort with water, with electricity that their children can study? And so the engineers went into this small little place. So they started working there and then they realized, no, they don't know really what the people wanted. So then they they asked the people in social work, the people in sociology, the people in psychology, to go in there and get an idea of what is it, how do people live in that spaces. And then they sent some of the engineers in there as well to live, and they lived in that space, uh, in a shack. And so that is how the, what the whole project actually did in interesting ways, in places that people thought it would never work. The iShack project has developed model shacks using recycled materials for insulation and foundations and has installed around 250 solar panels for electricity in Enkanani. The HOPE project was initially allocated 350 million rand, around 32 million US dollars, with each faculty being asked to submit proposals for funding. This resulted in over 20 academic initiatives based on five themes selected from the Millennium Development Goals. A key component of the HOPE project is the work carried out by the Centre for Renewable and Sustainable Energy Studies. Formed in 2007, this brings together different disciplines to research sustainable sources of energy, including wind, wave and solar power. My name is Willem Landman. I'm a PhD researcher at the Solar Thermal Energy Research Group at Stellenbosch University. Uh, We work with CSP, Concentrated Solar Power. Uh, What we essentially do is we harness the great solar resource that we have. Lots of heliostats or mirrors focus the sunlight to a central receiver Um, At the central receiver, a heat transfer fluid um, transports the heat that's generated to uh, either a storage uh, system or directly to a turbine, which is turned to generate electricity. We need to transition from a very high carbon uh, electricity production to a more uh, green resource. We have incredibly good sunlight here in South Africa, uh, and this is something that we just need to utilize. It makes lots of sense in South Africa. Uh, And because of our great solar resource, the uh, implementation is uh, cheaper than it is in Europe. Uh, And it makes logical sense to move towards uh, solar thermal energy production. Uh, The the HOPE project uh, is one of the funders of our research. And it's essentially 
the hope for the future to be able to provide energy sustainably. Where we are now uh, is that we've made that strong investment. I think people understand now what it means. They understand also that it is not, it is not just about welfare. It is about actually the sciences. It is about how the sciences can begin to build the future. And instead of just trying to understand the problems, <laughs> try to begin to seek the solutions. One, one of the important things of the whole project was how to connect to some of the universities on the continent. Remember now, this university lived between these mountains as if nothing exists outside of it. So the big challenge was how do I get them to commit not as, as uh, not just to universities in the country, but to universities in other countries. And that became an important part of the transformation because it also meant that we, we'd, we would be in a situation to bring in more black students into the university, some of the best students that we could get on the continent. And we started looking for them and we got them. And we started what is called the uh, African Doctoral Academy. And what we did was to bring the students, to bring people here who are already academics in their own right, who are doing well, but just don't stop for a moment to think about the PhD. So we brought them here and we started with 88 in the first year. We had 26 completing in the first two years and we now the rest will complete in the course of well, end of last year and, and the end of this year. Uh, that is where we've started to see the real results. But that means now that, and, and, it's, and this is the idea of the whole project, now that person goes back to the university in Ghana or in Malawi and that person is now qualified to help other people do their PhDs. And that is, that is the whole idea of looking at how, what are the things that must be done so that the next generation will be in a different place. As the Vice President of the Association of African Universities, Professor Botman believes that other African universities could harness the principles of hope to ensure academic research serves the developmental needs of the continent. What is my legacy? If I, if people sometimes ask, what, is, what do you think you leave behind? I leave behind a new idea at Stellenbosch University, which is different uh, and which is the opposite of the, of the apartheid system.